Hey, it's Andrew from the West Coast Safety Team, and today we're talking about fault safety. West Coast has the privilege of cleaning and caring for our customers' personal property. We store most of those items in vaults like this. So let's take a few minutes to learn the proper ways to pack, move, and stack vaults. As you begin packing a vault, pack the heavier items on the bottom and distribute the weight evenly from side to side to the best of your ability. Then pack the smaller items on the top. A vault packed with the larger, heavier items on top is dangerous. That's called top heavy, when the heavy items are on top. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Yeah, top heavy vaults are less stable and more likely to topple, damaging the property inside and potentially injuring employees. Since West Coast stacks our vaults, we have to keep the total vault weight in mind. Do not stack heavier vaults on the top of lighter or empty vaults. If you do, the stack could topple or lower vaults could be crushed. When you are removing a vault's door or disassembling a vault, it's very important to unstack it first, then disassemble it. Never disassemble a stacked vault. Unless you're this guy, the best way to move vault safely is with a forklift. When operating a forklift, here are a few things to keep in mind. Center the forks under the vault and drive forward until the vault is resting against the load backrest. Then lift the vault from the floor. When driving with a vault on the forks, and this is important, drive backwards. You have better visibility looking and driving backward than driving forward and trying to see around the vault. Do not always drive backwards in all vehicles all the time. That would be weird. Thank you, Captain Obvious. That's it. I'm Andrew and that's your training on vault safety. See ya.